Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel. This time we will be discussing about measures of position. And what are measures of position? These are numerical measures that are used to describe the standing or location of an observation relative to the rest of the data. There are three common measures of position. These are quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. Let us take up first quartiles. What are quartiles? These are points that divide a ranked data into four equal parts. Each set of data has three quartiles. Let's have the first quartiles or Q1 or Q1. sub It is a number such that at most one-fourth or 25% of the data are smaller in value than the first quartile and at most three-fourths or 75% are larger. For an ungrouped data, we can find the first quartile in the n plus 1 all over fourth entry in the data set where n is the number of observations in the data set. Other term for first quartile is lower quartile or Q1 or Q1. sub Example, consider this data set A is equal to the set of 14, 23, 19, 36, 25, 45, 39. Let us find the first quartile. First step is you are going to arrange first the given data in increasing order. Label the positions of the numbers if necessary. So in our data set, the first entry will be 14, the second is 19, 23, 25, 36, 39, and 45. There are 7 observations in the data set. Now second step is we're going to compute for the location of the first quartile and that will be located on n plus 1 all over 4 term. So you Using this formula, where n is equal to 7 because we have 7 observations, by substitution, we will be having 7 plus 1 all over 4 is equal to 8 over 4 is equal to 2. Meaning to say, the first quartile is on the second term. So, therefore, 19 is the first quartile which is exactly the second number in the list. Now let's proceed to second quartile. Second quartile is a number such that one half or 50% of the data are below and above in value than Q2 or Q2 sub or the second quartile. The other term for second quartiles is middle quartile or that is also median or Q2. To find the location of the second quartile for an ungrouped data that is on the 2 times the quantity n plus 1 over 4th entry in the data set, where n here is the number of observation in the data set. For example, consider the data set again, A is equal to the set of 14, 23, 19, 36, 25, 45, 39. We're going to find the second quartile first by listing the data in increasing order and label the positions of the numbers if necessary. So again, we have 14 as our first entry, 19, 23, 25, 36, 39, 45, and the first quartile is 19. How about for the second quartile? That is, if we're going to compute for the location of the second quartile using 2 times the quantity n plus 1 all over 4, then we can find the location of the second quartile. So computing for 2 times the quantity n plus 1 all over 4, where n is equal to 7 because we have 7 observations, so that will become 2 times the quantity 7 plus 1 all over 4, that is equal to 16 over 4 is equal to 4. That means to say that is on the fourth entry in the data set. Therefore, the second quartile is 25, which is exactly the fourth number in the list. Next is the third quartile, or the Q3. That is a number such that at most three-fourths or 75% of the data are smaller in value than Q3, and at most one-fourth or 25% are larger. The other term for third quartile is upper quartile or Q3. 
and the location of the third quartile that is in three times the quantity n plus one all over fourth entry in the data set again where n is the number of observations in the data set so again having our set a is equal to the set of 14 23 19 36 25 45 39 let us find the third quartile by listing again the data in increasing order and labeling the position of the numbers if necessary the next is we are going to compute for quartile 3 by having our formula 3 times the quantity n plus 1 all over 4 to find our third quartile so if n is equal to 7 that is equal to 3 times the quantity 7 plus 1 all over 4 and that is equal to 24 over 4 is equal to 6 that means to say that is the sixth in the list therefore the third quartile is 39 which is exactly the sixth number in the list Therefore, our quartile 1 is 19, quartile 2 is 25, and quartile 3 is 39. Now, let us have another term, the so-called interquartile range or IQR. This is the difference between quartile 3 and quartile 1. Now, if quartile 1 is 19 and quartile 3 is 39, the interquartile range or IQR is equal to 39 minus 19 is equal to 20. You may try this one. Given the set B is equal to the set of 43, 15, 47, 39, 23, 36, 32, 49, 28, 19, 13. Find quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3, and IQR or the interquartile range. You may pause this video before you check your answer. The answers are quartile 1 is equal to 19, quartile 2 is 32, quartile 3 is 43, and IQR is 24. Given the set, C is equal to the set of 18, 36, 27, 6, 48, 39, 47, 42. Let us find the first, second, and third quartile and the interquartile range. So again, we have to list the data in increasing order and we're going to label the position of each number. Then, let us compute for n plus 1 all over 4. And since we have 8 observations, so the value of n is equal to 8. So that will become now 8 plus 1 all over 4 is equal to 9 over 4 is equal to 2.25. This means the location of the first quartile is between the second and third term. The second number is 18 and the third number is 27. We have to find its average to find the first quartile and that is equal to 22.5. So our first quartile is 22.5. To locate for the second quartile, we're going to compute for 2 times the quantity n plus 1 all over 4. And since n is equal to 8, that is equal to 2 times the quantity 8 plus 1 all over 4 is equal to 18 over 4 is equal to 4.5. This means the location of the second quartile is between the fourth and fifth term. Since the fourth term is 36 and the fifth is 39, finding its average, the result is 37.5. So, the second quartile is 37.5. To locate for the third quartile, let us compute for 3 times the quantity n plus 1 all over 4. And since n is equal to 8, that is equal to 3 times the quantity 8 plus 1 all over 4 is equal to 27 over 4. And that is equal to 6.75. This means the location of the third quartile is between the 6th and 7th term. Our 6th number is 42 and the 7th is 47. Finding its average, the result is 44.5. So therefore, our quartile 3 is 44.5. Therefore, our first quartile is 22.5, second quartile is 37.5, third quartile is 44.5.
So since the first quartile is 22.5 and the third quartile is 44.5, to find the interquartile range, we have to compute for the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. So that is equal to 44.5 minus 22.5 is equal to 22. Thank you for watching and learning with me. See you in my next videos.